Okay, just for a little bit of battery talk here. These are the batteries to my house. They're all lead acid. They all behave the same just like an automotive battery. And I've got one cell cap off here just to show you the water levels are just a wee bit low. They're not to the bottom of the collar like they should be. Uh, as you can see, it's not physically touching the collar. It's below it. So give me a little bit. I'm going to pull the caps and we'll go through uh, watering of the batteries here real fast. And I'll show you how we equalize as well. There. Now we can see the batteries are starting to get gassy. Try not to put the glare in the cell there. And this is what's called equalized charging. And this will go on now for two hours. This is a 820 amp hour battery bank. But you want to make sure now that you stir the distilled water. I just added all these cells is stirred in with the rest of the acid so there's not a stratification. That's why I'll get probably 15 years out of these batteries where a sealed AGM battery would fail premature because there's no way to do this properly. As you can see now I've reached up to 31 volts like it was supposed to and it's going to dance there now. Solar controller is just telling me, hey, that's way too much. I'm going to just back off and let you know that it's too high. But now the inverter is doing its job and it's now doing the equalized charge. Now, if I was going to do the truck battery here, which would be really simple, I'd do the same watering principle again. I could turn the truck around very easily and just pull it nose into the garage and just disconnect the negative battery lead and now hook up a set of jumper cables to here as a 12 volt series off of two 6 volts and get the same effect. Now I'd have 15.5 basically in my equalized charge and be able to do a vehicle just as well. I can turn around and pull the ones out of the RV and grab two sets of jumper cables and do the same thing. I can bring them right on in here, place them on a board, hook them up again 12 volt series off of two and get the same thing. I can equalize out the battery. Now, just in the time I've been down here and this has been running, I can now smell the sulfur in the air or the sulfuric gas coming off of these, which is a good sign. I don't know if you can really see the bubbling really good. I'm trying to But she's boiling, so this is actually stirring in that distilled water I just poured in the cell.